I do have the front axle and the 40 Chevrolet bumper on this trailer. I don't have it tied down yet because I've got to get the car. That little blue Prius goes to Georgia with us and it comes on this trailer. Car on here and the back tire on the car sits here and I believe the car body will come up over this because I had a 350 Chevy engine sitting in here last year that we took down the to Todd. And I believe I can run a line from these two holders, loop them around through this axle and then come under that piece and out to this side and, and tie them down. Uh, I'm gonna need to, for that to be tied down pretty good because it's a, it's a long way down to Virginia and uh, there's a lot of bumpy roads between here and there. Anything that can be shook loose will get shook loose. So another option would be to move it all and put it back there by the gate and strap it down back there. But I'll be able to tell more about that when I get the car on the trailer and I'm not gonna hook it up until later in the day. But what's gonna happen here is when we go to bed, this is all gonna be packed up and loaded and ready to roll. We might get up about 3.30 or four in the morning and roll out of here. So that'll be, that'll be what we're shooting toward is uh, having everything ready to go by then so uh until we meet again that's about it I'm, i'll probably give you a little updates along the way they may be live done off my camera probably some updates with todd and his uh rat rod mini cooper that he's building so we'll talk about all of that later i will say this i'm looking forward to being back in georgia i'm looking forward to having some time with my rambler again uh, i'm taking with me tools i need to put valve seats, valve seal sills on that Rambler motor. I've already got a new timing chain for it and I'm gonna get a new cam and put that in it. Um, I have a 69 370 horse 350 engine in this garage and eventually I'm gonna build that engine and put it in the Rambler. But for now, I just gonna, I'm just gonna take the engine that's in it and freshen up the timing chain and the cam and uh, valve seals and because I'm going to be running that engine a while longer while I build this second engine for it uh, and I'd rather uh, I don't want to run it with the floppy timing chain take a chance on that thing snapping and causing me trouble so I'll be adjusting that while I'm down there I'm looking for some other fun things to do looking forward to some other fun things to do like being on the water being in the bass boat hanging out with friends I've already got several friends that are talking about coming to visit so it's gonna be a great time maybe I'll get to hook up a rusty acres again who knows but we'll see how that goes